scored 33 points and grabbed 13 rebounds as the Mavs. They crushed the Jazz, 102-77. Luka stuffed the staff sheet, stat sheet and led the Mavs in points, rebounds, assists in his first home playoff game since coming off that cat injury. Now, Luka Doncic, he missed the first three games of the series, but came back like he never left. He has back-to-back 30-point games and is leading all players with 31.5 points this postseason. He's also shooting 51% from the field. But on the other side of all of that, Donovan Mitchell, he just couldn't get quite right. He was held to nine points, four of 15 shooting, committed four turnovers, and then to make matters worse, you can see here he limped off the court after his hamstring tightened up that was late in the fourth quarter. So I want to bring in our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, for more on Donovan Mitchell. Woj, what's the latest on Mitchell's hamstring injury and his availability for Thursday's Game 6? Uh, Malika, it, it looks like good news for the Jazz. Uh, Donovan Mitchell's MRI was negative. There, there is some bruising around his quad, uh, but with two days off between games five and six, the expectation is Donovan Mitchell will be available uh, to play in that game six. Mavericks obviously lead the series 3-2, uh, but you know Donovan Mitchell said it last night after the game that he would be fine, he would be ready to play. Uh, the MRI came back clean today, and so Donovan Mitchell, he'll get treatment over the next couple days, uh, and the expectation is he will be available to play with the Jazz's season on the line in Game 6 Thursday in Salt Lake. And they're certainly going to need him if they want to extend this series. Woj, thank you so much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.